Hey guys, how's it going? Groovy Love Squirrel Medicare. Uh. He has the backwood hat. That means it is hot. Ow. <laughs> uh, nope. No. <laughs> Ahoy everybody, how's it going? I'm Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic. I'm here with my little man monkey Devin. And today we're here with a special gift. We got something from our friend Scott and it came all the way from Canada. The great white north. But we have multiple things. He sent us some craft dinner, some KD flavor boost, which is ghost pepper to add to some mac and cheese. Also sent us some gum from Canada. I don't know, but let's uh it also came with a sweet postcard. But uh, we'll see a picture of that right back there. Look at it. It still tastes like salt. We'll see. All right, so from Scott, he says, I uh, thought I would send you some KD flavor boost for you and Devin to try and some interesting gum, both of exclusively Canadian. I hope you two enjoy them and look forward to seeing more of your content. Scott from Trial by Fire. So, something for us to try. Something that we have never tried before. Uh, so, we already have made uh the mac and cheese that we use Velveeta and uh here's a little clip of how we made it here we go one two three and bam All right, so are you ready to try this? Yeah. All right, so in this package, you want to read the ingredients? No. Okay, so ingredients, sugars, red bell pepper, paprika, natural flavors, soybean oil, paprika extractives, ghost pepper, and tricalcium phosphate. So all you do is you make a giant bowl of mac and cheese and you add this into it. Now, if you look, uh, if we look at the um, mac and cheese over here, uh, you can see uh, pieces of pepper in it. I don't know if that is the bell pepper, the red bell pepper, or just the ghost pepper. But I'm excited to try it. It smells amazing. So you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, I need to drink of water. Okay. Yes, water, not milk. Okay. Mm. Water is good. Alright, you ready? Well, it's, uh, you can smell a little bit of the pepper, but it's not like overpowering. Get a couple pieces on there. Get a good bite. Let's review it. So, you got a couple of uh, pieces of the pepper on there. You can smell the pepper a little bit, but it's not overpowering. It's not like uh, when we did the Inferno Candy Company, that spicy mac and cheese. It's not like that. But it still smells good. And we still have a, a lovely bag. Yep. Background right behind us. Huh? So you ready? Little army school. Yep. Yeah. Alright, three, two, one, go. That tastes good. Are you mad that we messed up Velveeta? Because I don't think we messed up Velveeta. I think it's a flavor booster. It is good. So. Yes, I am mad at that. 
Yeah, me time's good, and I'm gonna make it me time. Let's so, have... let's talk about the flavor. What what do you taste? A lot of pepper. A lot of pepper, but like, is it overpowering the pepper? Because you still could taste the mac and cheese and stuff like that. It still tastes good. You just have the pepper flavor in it. Yeah. So, on flavor scale, what would you rate it? Mm, I like Vilna, but it's one point down for the spicy sauce. So. Seven. I would also rate it a seven just because I do like Velveeta as well. I think maybe this would be different if we did like regular mac and cheese. Almost everyone likes mac and cheese. And I'm pretty sure um, if we didn't have Velveeta, if we just used regular mac and cheese, the flavor would have been a little bit different. What do you think? Mm. Alright, so let's talk about heat. On a scale of zero to ten, where would you rate this heat? A lot of peppers and just a little piece mm -hmm. that I bit. So the spice, there's a lot of peppers, so it's three, but if I ate a bigger bite, I feel like it would be like a five. I would give this heat level hmm, between a two and a three. I can take I can taste the ghost pepper a little bit, but it is not overpowering. But it is good. So that is uh, Kraft Dinner Flavor Boost. And now to the pot I'm most excited about and that I haven't had in a while, gum. Alright, so this is Thrills Gum. I've never heard of Thrills Gum. It came in the package with me. He's like, you gotta try this. And here, here's the part that makes me kind of really question about how good this gum is going to be. It's the one line in English on the front. It still tastes like soap. It still tastes like soap. So is it supposed to taste like soap? I think everyone has tasted soap before in life. Well, especially when they use like bad words and stuff like that to get their mouth washed out with soap. I mean, we don't use bad words. Wink, wink. <laughs> All right, so ingredients for this. Sugar, gum base, glucose syrup, sorbitol syrup, white corn dextrin, flavor. It doesn't even say what flavor, it just says flavor. Uh, carnauba, carnauba wax? Carnauba wax. Uh, BHA and colors. I don't want to read. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you didn't want to read because you didn't read the other one. That's okay. You can open it up and you can pop out the gum. Now, each piece, it says you're supposed to have two pieces. That is the dose or the per serving is two pieces. So go ahead and get out two pieces for you. We'll just fast forward this while I'm opening it. We can fast forward it. I don't know. But we'll put up a picture of what the uh, package of the thrills looks like. One, three, two, one, and bam. Good thing I have long nails. You can just pop it out. Like this. Watch this. Right. One, two, three. Okay, long nails are better. Oh, okay. Long nails are better. Alright, so let's see what the gum smells like. It might taste like some. I don't know. I don't have a certain smell. Cheers? I don't know. Let's try it out. From Canada. 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 Is it Canada or Canada? Canada. I like Canada the best. It's Canada. No, Canada. All right, three, two, one, and. So. Canada. <laughs> Your face. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Your face! Um, I, to, let me see how I can explain this flavor. I am keeping this to myself. Let me see if I can explain this flavor for thrills. Is that mine now? The flavor 
is like... <laughs> Your face! We're gonna get you close to your face. I'm just trying to think of how to describe it. Like, if you think of going to like your grandma's house or something like that, and they have those uh, soap dishes, like in the bathroom, like with the seashell shaped, shaped soaps, and you wash your hands with it, just the smell of those soaps is exactly what this tastes like. Canada, for this, I will never forget you. Please blow a bubble with it. I can't. Why? Because it's so gross. We're gonna need a close up of this. So thing. let's talk about the flavor. What do you think? Where would you rate the flavor of this gum? Nine. You are so <laughs> full of crap. You are just trying to make stuff up. This no, is horrible. It's not. No, it's not. This is horrible. No, it's not. She gives it a nine. I give it a negative nine. It oh, is. Damn. Yeah. So bad. And no, it's not. But you know what? It's a new experience. So. He's wrong again. No, thank you. That's gross too. <laughs> so that was the uh, craft dinner, flavor boost, ghost pepper, plus also the thrills gum from Canada. Hey. Thank you very much, Scott, from Trial by Fire, for sending us this stuff. I like the gum. You like the gum better? Yes. Alright, so that's it. That is our flavor review from Canada. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, or don't, because if you don't, we don't care. Because we're gonna keep doing this because we love doing it, and there's some people out there that like it as well. So And tell your parents to get this and try this because Don't do it. Facebook is hilarious. Don't do it. Canadi Canada. I'm so disappointed. Canada. Canada. It's Canada. Alright guys. But that's it for us. From Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic and my little mad monkey Devin. We love you and we will see you on the next one. Have a good one guys.